Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Soft Talk Apple Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Torrance. And last time we talked about how I built a joystick for my Apple IIc. Um, and at that point I just had the electronics. Uh, this time I'm just going to show you how I custom made a case for the joystick using a 3D printer and just show you how I designed it and printed it. So let's get started. Okay, so I used Autodesk 1-2 3D Design to do the actual uh, 3D case. And you can see here is the model for the bottom of the case. And the reason I had to do it in two separate pieces is uh, partly just to make it easier to print, but basically since the 3D printer prints from the bottom up, uh, it's very hard to do overhangs. And so what I did is I just kind of did the bottom half all the way up to about halfway. And so you can see I have a notch uh, where the cord goes through. And then I also have two holes where I'm actually going to mount my circuit board. So that's here and here. Um, and I have little beveled edges on it right there just to make it easier to stick the screw in. Um, and then I also have my mounting posts for the screws to hold the case together. And if we flip it over, uh, you can see underneath, this is where I... Uh, recess the uh, screw holes so basically that the screws would be flush to the the bottom of the case uh, so that's the bottom and then if we go to the top of the case uh, it's essentially looks the same except uh, now it has the holes for the uh, joystick and for the buttons so here's the top and so you can see there's the hole for the thumb stick right here um, the holes for the potentiometers, there's two holes for the buttons, and then here's where I had my little logo. Uh, so for the logo itself, it was a little tricky because what I had to do is actually take the Apple logo and then uh, paste it down onto the surface, and then I wanted to actually uh, drill it all the way through um, so I could put a plug on the other side. and. So what I had to do is actually just put it down and then surround it with a disc and then I told it to uh, just triangulate that basically so that the entire case wouldn't end up all triangulated. Uh, so it looks a little tricky. Um, but basically here's the, uh, here's the top of the case. Again, we have the mounting holes here for the screws uh, to go in. These are slightly smaller diameter than the ones in the bottom so it actually catches. Um, and then I have a third file, which is just the silver disc itself, which will get mounted underneath. I won't show you that. But to actually print it in Autodesk, what you do is you just export to an STL, and you want to just combine it all into a single shape and give it a name. So we'll say joystick top. And so once we've exported it, we can quit out of 123D design. We don't need to save our changes. Uh, we'll go to the joystick top, which is right here. And we'll just open that up in the Cura software, uh, which is used by the Ultimaker 2 printer, which is the 3D printer that we're using. And then we just go ahead and export it to the SD card. Uh, for this particular print, it looks like it's going to take five hours and 17 minutes. This is for the top of the case. Um, we could print both the top and the bottom at the same time, but there's really no benefit to do that. In fact, it actually takes a little bit longer because then the printer has to travel between the two. Uh, so now we can go ahead and go over to the printer and print it out and then assemble it. Okay, so here's the 3D printer. It's an Ultimaker 2, and here I'm just showing a test print, um, just because otherwise the regular print would take too long. Um, you can see it's extruding out of the nozzle there just to get started. I'm actually using PLA for the uh, joystick case. I tried using ABS plastic, um, but I had a real problem with uh, adhesion to the bed. So basically what would happen is it would try to print and then it would just start lifting off and it would end up curled. Um, and you'll see actually later, even with the, the PLA plastic, there was still a problem uh, with it not really sticking and warping. Uh, but anyway, there is the printer. This is not my printer, by the way, so uh, I'm not as quite so lucky to be able to own one of these. 
but let's go on now and we'll see how the actual case turned out. Okay, so here's the case as it turned out. Um, you can see it's got the top half and the bottom half. Uh, the bottom half you can see it has the slots in it and I just did this to uh, reduce the printing time. It doesn't need any ventilation or anything like that. It looks kind of cool too. Um, you can also see where I have the screw holes and they've been countersunk uh, so the screws are flush with the bottom. And then if we look inside you can see where the screw holes come through and then in the top half uh, of the joystick uh, these holes are just slightly smaller so that they'll actually catch. So if I put in a screw uh, it'll easily go through the bottom, stick up, and then catch in the top. Um, you can also see on the top where I've got all the holes, I've got the larger hole for the uh, actual thumb stick and I made it a little bit too big I think. Um, if I did it again I would actually uh, just make it a tiny bit smaller. You can actually see that there's quite a gap. Um, you can also see where I have the little Apple logo and where I did this by just having a hole um, in the shape of the Apple and then printing uh, just a silver disc which you can see on the inside uh, just using gray and actually countersunk that as well into the uh, underneath of the, the top here so it's actually flush uh, just to give myself a little bit more room inside since it's actually pretty tight. Um, there's also the holes for the buttons and for the uh, adjustments for the pots um, for the thumbstick and then finally there's the hole for the cord to come out the back and I think that's about it for the description of the case. Oh, one more thing you can see actually when I put it together it definitely suffered from a little bit of warpage. Maybe if I did it again I would have another screw hole um, or just try to make it so it prints uh, with a little less warping uh, maybe by using uh, some glue on the actual print bed itself. So let's assemble it and we'll try it out. Okay, so here we are playing Choplifter with the new joystick. And Choplifter is a good test because it uses all uh, four directions and it requires really uh, fine control of the joystick. So the first thing we're going to do is actually adjust the trim uh, using the little potentiometers. So you can see it's a little out of whack. And you want to make sure to have this correct for this game, otherwise you'll kill the poor people when you're trying to pick them up. Uh, so we'll adjust both the horizontal and the vertical and check the buttons so we can turn around and we can shoot. So it looks like everything is working properly. Uh, the joystick works great. It's really um, has very quick control because it's so small. So it's has kind of a different feel than uh, a regular Apple joystick, but uh, still seems to work great. Oops, forgot that guy. Oh, where'd he go? He looks like invisible. Looks like a bug. That was cool. Uh, so yeah, everything looks like it's working well. And so I think we can uh, declare the project a success. Um, if you're interested in any of the files or anything, just uh, contact me through the comments and I'll see if I can get you the uh, 3D files if you want to print your own. So thanks for watching. Thank you.